Casablanca is Morocco's capital and biggest city. It is the second biggest city in the Maghreb area and the ninth largest in the Arab world and is located on the Atlantic coast of the Kilia Plain in central western Morocco. Casablanca is Morocco's main port and one of Africa's major financial centers. Africa is a developing continent with a growing population and economy. This includes both the larger IT community and the finance industry. Emerging and future cities in the emerging market, notably in Africa, are beginning to emerge and establish themselves in various rankings. The growth of Africa's financial ecosystem is essential since it will not only offer the region unprecedented economic riches, but will also promote local talent and enterprises. For many years, South African cities such as Johannesburg and Cape Town dominated the continent's financial industry. However, this is changing as several countries position their capitals to be Africa's financial center. According to the Z-Yen Global Financial Centers Index, Casablanca is now Africa's leading financial hub, ranking 53rd internationally. Kigali, like Lagos, is considered an associate center since it does not yet satisfy all of the requirements for inclusion on the complete list. So, what makes Casablanca Africa's leading financial center? Well, we will answer this question in our video today. Most nations have financial centers. For example, Paris is the financial hub of France, as most major French financial institutions and the country's main stock exchange, Euronext Paris, are based there. There are also international financial hubs, which serve as the primary financial centers for regional economies. London, which acts as the financial center for all of Europe, is an example of such a financial hub. Singapore, Hong Kong, Tokyo, and New York City are all well-known financial centers across the world. There are numerous benefits to a city being a financial hub. Financial institutions such as commercial banks, investment banks, securities exchanges, and investment advisories can be very profitable businesses, and cities stand to gain a significant amount of tax revenue when such firms are headquartered within their borders. Having a financial hub also entails being a convenient place for conducting business meetings and conferences, which boosts tourism and accompanying tax revenues. Casablanca's vision of becoming Africa's leading financial center was strengthened with the establishment of the Casablanca Finance City, a public-private initiative born in 2010 when a law was passed inviting global firms to establish regional headquarters in the beautiful North African city also known as Casa Anfa. The financial city was built on the historic site of Casablanca's former airport, with the objective of giving Casablanca, the country's economic center, a worldwide dimension. Casa Anfa is the future city core, located on 350 hectares of land. The city is firmly devoted to sustainable development, and a third of the development is dedicated to green spaces, including a 50-hectare park. The city provides a functional mix of offices, residences, and retail, among other amenities. The country's authorities want a landmark building built by a Prince Prize-winning architect for the financial city's first structure. In 2013, a competition was launched that attracted several world-renowned architects, such as Rem Koolhaas, Zaha Hadid, and Tha Main. The prize for the first office tower in the financial metropolis was finally given to Los Angeles-based Tha Main, which was his first work in Africa. The city's business district now houses leading financial institutions and is equipped with world-class conductivity, including two tram stations, a high-speed train station, and important road links to Casablanca Airport, the city center, residential areas, 
and other Moroccan cities such as Rabat, El Jadida, and Marrakesh. It is currently positioned among the greatest worldwide financial centers, an aim carried out by various agreements, partnerships, and reforms that have attracted no fewer than 200 businesses, all of which have Casablanca Finance City designation. The city's first skyscraper is now home to 34 tenants and 800 workers. Casablanca Finance City provides its members with an appealing value proposition and quality doing business assistance in order to encourage the deployment of their activities in Africa with the goal of satisfying its community. The city is dedicated to showcasing its members' African knowledge while also encouraging synergies and business possibilities within its network. Casablanca Financial City underwent a series of changes altering its legal and taxation structures in order to increase its attractiveness and conform with worldwide best practices. This reform makes no distinction between domestic and exporting activities. The improvements include extending qualifying activities, reinforcing compliance standards, and simplifying the procedure for obtaining Casablanca Finance City designation. The Grand Casablanca area is regarded as the motor of Moroccan economic development. It attracts 32% of the country's manufacturing units and 56% of its industrial workforce. The area consumes 30% of the nation's electrical production. The region accounts for 4-4% of the kingdom's industrial production with a total value of MAD 93 billion. The Grand Casablanca accounts for about 33% of national industrial exports, MAD 27 billion. Casablanca also accounts for 30% of the Moroccan banking network. Phosphate is one of the most significant Casablancan exports. What distinguishes Casablanca as a financial center is its location, which allows for quick access to the continent from the United States, Europe, the Middle East, and Asia, with direct flights to 113 locations. Its friendly business climate provides mobile internet speeds that are faster than those found in Ireland, Vietnam, or Turkey. A simplified two-day company formation procedure multilingual mediation and arbitration, and a flat 15% business income tax. In the previous 15 years, Morocco's Casablanca financial city has made considerable social and economic development as a result of large public investment and political, institutional, and sector changes, as well as macroeconomic stabilization measures. Morocco's excellent track record and prior successes, as well as the effective implementation of critical economic and governance reforms, indicate that the nation will continue to be successful in pursuing its financial hub strategy. Morocco's ambitious growth ambitions will be supplemented in the next years by the projected economic expansion in North, West, and Central Africa. The region will benefit from rapid commerce expansion, population growth, and a range of large infrastructure projects. According to various estimates, Africa has the world's greatest proportion of unbanked and underbanked individuals. According to an International Monetary Fund assessment, Africa's informal economy is one of the world's largest, providing financial institutions and small and medium-sized enterprises with access to a sizable pool of unbanked and underbanked individuals. Furthermore, the African Continental Free Trade Agreement, which went into force on January 1st of this year, provides international investors with access to the newly opened market of 1.2 billion consumers, which is expected to boost African exports by $560 billion.
With all of these achievements, Morocco's Casablanca Finance Metropolis has positioned itself as the continent's leading financial center for international investors for the foreseeable future. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notifications.